Okay, the news break coming in right uh, this moment on News 360 is that of the Italian Foreign Minister Giulio Terzi having resigned from the cabinet. The Italian Foreign Minister, we believe, has resigned over decision to send those Marines back to India. Our Chief Diplomatic Correspondent Parul is joining us on the phone line for more on this story. Parul, obviously it's a tough diplomatic decision to explain back to the constituency in Italy. What more are you hearing? Uh, that's right, Anuba. He's uh, confirmed that the decision has been linked with the decision on uh, sending the Marines back to India. So it's clear there's a connect with the Marines issue. Uh, we do know that since Friday, when Italy went public with its turnaround, uh, there has been a lot of criticism that Terzi has had to face personally and his government as well. We know that Silvio Berlusconi, the former Prime Minister of Italy and uh, an arrival uh, of the current uh, government, in a sense, has, has been extremely critical. He's, he's called uh, the turnaround as pitiful and inept. Uh, we've also heard other statements from other officials. We've heard from the mayor of Bari. Now, that's the hometown of one of the Marines. He's called the turnaround indescribable. So that just gives you a sense of the kind of criticism uh, Terzi and his government have had to face on this decision. He did try and justify the decision on Friday. He said that, that uh, uh, the diplomatic deadlock was, in a sense, necessary to make sure that the Marines did not face the death penalty. Uh, not many accepted that explanation in, in India and certainly not in Italy. Uh, Terzi has had to now pay for his job for that decision, which many believe, including uh, the Prime Minister's envoy, uh, concede that was linked to uh, the political atmosphere just ahead of elections in Italy. Right, uh, but the Italian government, as you also said, is, is trying to tell the people there that they have got written assurances from the government of India that they will not be given a death penalty and they will tri be tried as per the international law. That's true, and it's widely believed, Palki, that this was a bit of a face saver. Uh, the Italian government trying to explain that, uh, look, it's not in ways, we've bought time, uh, we've made sure they haven't got a death penalty. But, uh, you know, in an interview to CNN IDN, the Prime Minister's special envoy, uh, uh, Dr. also confirmed that politics got mixed up with this issue as well. Uh, he talked about Kerala politics, but he also conceded that politics in Italy had a factor. Certainly Salman Kushi, when he spoke with us, uh, in his assessment, he also said that, uh, you know, emotions were whipped up because uh, there was an election campaign underway in Italy and this, in a sense, became an election issue. Mm -hmm. uh, now, of course, we heard from the Italian government that the decision was actually uh, uh, clearly thought out and the turnaround was, in a sense, a strategic turnaround. But obviously, not many takers for that decision. Terzi has now had to resign. Uh, not many people will actually be surprised, surprised by that decision, given the divisiveness of Italian politics and the e emotions that surrounding this particular issue. Uh, sure, Parul, but many here in India had looked at it as a surprise climb down of sorts and perhaps many in Italy per also looked at it as a surprise climb down. In one of the last statements that Terzi gave, he seemed to suggest that the situation was normalizing. Why then this uh, uh, sudden uh, resignation? Well, it seems that the pressure has been building up steadily on him, his, his ministry and his government since Friday, Anubha. Friday was when Italy went public with the decision that the Marines would be sent back. Friday was when they started putting out statements explaining why the decision had been made. He talked about the fact that this, uh, this deadlock was in a sense necessary because they managed to negotiate certain conditions out of the Indian government. But obviously, it seems that those uh, explanations have not been convincing for the Italian people, particularly Italian politicians and opposition politicians. Right. Uh, I think it's just a combination of uh, political and, and emotional sentiments that have been building up steadily since Friday. Right. Uh, so that diplomatic row with India has certainly had a, had a fallout back in Italy. Parul, we'll have to leave it there. But thanks very much for all those details.